Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and it's all good. I'm happy that I'm alive. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. And this is my next episode on all about Office 2013. And uh, I'm going to show you guys this new feature that Word and I believe the other applications has is to insert online videos, which is pretty cool. So I have a blank page with "Welcome to BJ Tech News Productions." and I'm gonna insert a online video so we're gonna go to the insert tab and within the insert tab there's a new little feature right here called online video media which is pretty awesome if you click on it you get this nice little dialog box uh, with three options uh, one option is you can either embed the video with a coding you could actually search Bing video searches and you can also do YouTube searches now it looks like I only have the two options but it looks like you could also insert from YouTube so let me click on here and see what happens awesome so now I have the option to search in YouTube so I'm gonna go to YouTube and I'm gonna go BJ Tech News you know because that's my channel and let's go to I don't know Microsoft MDT because that's you know these are just keywords and MDT is very popular in my video so I'm gonna hit enter do a search and it's gonna populate everything that I've done MDT wise and I tagged it to MDT so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this episode when you click on it it highlights you get a nice little view larger view if you click on it it shows you a, a preview of it as you can see you can actually click on it and view it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it, click on it, and I'm going to insert. Once you insert, it's going to insert it directly to your document from online. How easy is that? You don't need to open up a, a separate browser. You don't, you don't need to open up Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google, whatever browser you're using. Doing a search, copy and pasting the link. You can do everything within the Microsoft Office 2013 uh, suite, which is pretty cool. Uh, from here, you get the little handles like always when you insert an item inside Word uh, to resize it you're able to resize and adjust uh, the size of the video if you notice right here at the top on the corner there's a layout option if you click on that it gives you many options that you could choose for your video when you have a lot of text around it by default it does the inline with text so that's pretty cool I'm gonna leave it as is but another cool thing is if you click on the play button you get this nice little dim feature behind the scenes and the video will automatically go in the middle of the screen and you're able to play your video from office which is pretty awesome I think it's one of those oh, cool now, videos uh, let me pause that uh, I think it's a cool feature to have and hopefully you guys enjoy so another cool feature that office 2013 has is editing PDF documents now PDF documents are basically PDF stands for portable document format now uh, to edit PDFs it's really tricky you know nowadays you have to purchase Adobe professional to edit a, a pop or you know a PDF file uh, but within back then on office 2007 no actually 2010 office allowed you to open up a PDF and convert it down to a word document to edit now I don't have Adobe Reader installed into my Windows 8 because Windows 8 was nice enough to give us a a reader that allows you to read PDF so this is what the reader will look at you know it will look it would uh, go on full screen which is pretty cool and this is the text that I have now this PDF is not really complicated I've always had a lot of individuals saying oh, can you convert a PDF to a word now if you need to do that and you want to keep the formatting the same way that the formatting is, is on a PDF most likely you want to do it on Acrobat Professional which is going to cost you a little bit more money but if you are able to manage with the formatting uh, you can do it with Word now we're gonna go to file we're gonna open I'm going to go to the computer desktop and I'm going to open up my MDT 2012 notes and as you can see you're going to get this nice little warning basically stating that you know where will now convert your PDS to an editable word document which that's what you want 
uh, it normally takes a while but because it's really small it should be really quick you can actually check don't show this message again if you're if you're gonna be doing this a lot in the pat in the future but uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at is press OK and voila it's converted as you can see the formatting is not as great if you're using Acrobat Professional to actually convert a PDF to a word but uh, you still have a lot of power to do what you want within the document which is pretty cool okay uh, once you're here you can actually when you go to file and save as okay I'm gonna go right here and click on that button because this is what I want and uh, automatically it's gonna save it to a word document okay but you also have the option to save it as a PDF. Now, I don't know if you guys caught that, so I'm going to do it one more time. So, I was at Word document. Look at the bottom right here. And when I switch it to PDF, I get more options within the PDF. So, I'm resaving it to a PDF. I'm able to optimize it as a standard, which is default, or you can minimize the size to publish it online, which is pretty cool. Another good feature is options. So if you're going to click on the options, you got a nice little dialog box which allows you to pick the range of papers uh, or pages that you want to convert into a PDF, uh, the way that you want to publish it, uh, include non-printing information, you could create bookmarks on that, that's pretty cool. Uh, PDF op options are basically you could uh, do the ISO. Uh, bitmap text with fonts may be embedded. You also could encrypt the document with a password. So there's a lot of options that 2013 brings with the PDS, which is pretty interesting. And uh, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode on everything about Office 2013. Please Twitter it. Please Facebook it. Please like it. Please comment. Please subscribe. And hopefully I catch you guys on the next video, which is again every Tuesday at my channel, BJ Tech News, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.